So slash x slash, I'm from Germany. We have tales about doppelgangers. Don't know if it's the same but it sounds just like that. Anyways I live in the south of Germany near Forest Schwarzwald. Been camping there since childhood with friends and their families usually annually or every second year. Here and there I remember our parents being kind of worried about something but it never was something big. Sometimes there were weird voices in the forest but hey, it's not a city after all. Now I'm 21 and we still go camping there. Nowadays without our parents though. Last year one had a creepy encounter I want to tell you about. Go to usual camping site with four buddies. Set up camps on the same place. Pumped up because everyone's always looking forward to this event. Celebrate first night at campfire with alcohol. One buddy stumbles away to take a piss. He is one of those men who can't pee with others around so he goes deep in the woods. Comes back talking about some other campfire. We laugh at him and assume he just saw ours from afar. Blame it on the alcohol and he gets convinced. Eventually take care of the fire and go to sleep hammered. Wonderful morning with headache follows a peaceful night. We enjoy our stay and go swimming in a river nearby. Get back to our camp and one friend hurries out of his tent. Someone went through his backpack. His stuff is spread all over his sleeping bag. Shirt and phone are missing. Go to check my tent and find my backpack emptied, too. Get alarmed and assume a thief. Everyone searches for their valuable goods such as expensive lights, money and phones. Everything there, only friends shirt and phone missing. Decide to look for footprints and find a trail in the coal leading into the woods. No boot prints but actual bare feet. Oh shit. All of us decide not to stay there and we pack our stuff. Take some time to get equipment back in our cars. Suddenly other friend's phone starts to ring. Guys you should see this, we run up to him to see that the stolen phone is calling. Robbed friend gets angry, takes the phone and answers. Listen that's not funny why? Stops talking abruptly. Pale as a ghost. Turns on the speaker. Someone is talking slowly like a mad baby. In the voice of friend's dad. Everyone stunned, scared and puzzled at the same time. Bravest one of us snaps out of it, takes the phone and shouts at dad. Dad hangs up. Dead silence all over over the camping site. Let's call him to find this fucker and get the phone back, bravest one suggests. Nobody really stops him so he starts dialing. Hear it ringing in the forest. Ringing coming nearer. We get together, grabbing knives and shovel. See a shadow standing in the forest. Friend's dad calls out to us. Comes out and looks just like him only wearing his son's shirt and nothing else. Opens mouth and out comes gibberish again. We attack him and he runs into the forest screaming like a madman. Decide to stay together and follow him. He runs towards an open field with a dead fireplace. Drops the phone and vanishes behind trees. We pick it up and see other shadows coming from his direction. They're eight in total, all trying to form words. Now hear my parents' voice. Fear now rules our minds. Book it back to our camp, get in cars and fucking hurry out of the forest while calling the police. Didn't find anything but friend's shirt. We talked with our parents about it. They panicked and told us that on some of the many pics you can see shades watching from the woods. They'd also see someone in two places at the same time although that wasn't possible. Until that day they put it up as bullshit but now that changed. Some of us are in therapy and nobody believes us. We never went back there.